functions in python this is something we have been indirectly using since the first module print and input are some functions that you have already used and these are inbuilt function in the next cell we have example of print function print in opening and closing parenthesis we are passing a string when you run this cell the complete string will be printed on the user screen input function uh, in front of the input function we have a question enter the age after running this cell uh, it will ask for the input with the question enter the age user will enter his age and that will be displayed on the user screen if you want you can create your own function to get some desired output now we will explore some more inbuilt function here we are creating a variable num1 which is storing a negative integer and if you want to find out absolute of that number absolute value from zero then we can use built in function abs so we are printing what we are printing absolute of num1 which will give a output 10 to see a uh, documentation of a, any variable object or function or module in python we can use help function inside the help function give the name variable function or module name it will give the documentation of that object so we in in, in front of help in front uh, using opening and closing parenthesis we can pass the object for example, in this case, we want help on print function. We get the output help on built in function print in the module built ins. Print function, print function, this take this parameter value, then separator, then it has by default pre initialized parameter end to backslash of n, file is system.stdo out, flush is equal to false. Prints the value to a stream or to system dot std out by default optional keyword argument file a file like object stream default to the current system dot std out separator strings that insert between values default a space and string append after the last value default a new line flush whether to forcibly flush the stream now we are creating a list l1 next built-in function we can use is max or mean so this l1 is a list of integers when we print max of l1 it will print the maximum value from the list if we print mean of l1 it will print the minimum value from the list now next built-in function is a round function which will round the given float value to the nearest value so var is equal to 3.14 and when we call the round function on where it will uh, round it to the nearest value which is three so print a round of where will output three where one is equal to 3.62 when we round this to the nearest value is four therefore print round of where one will give the output four next is type conversion so for type conversion we use int float str function so in this example, we are taking a variable a value from a from user. So we are calling input function and asking the user to enter a number. User will enter the number. So click on the cell and run the cell. We have been asked to enter a number. We entered 43. Now we want to convert this is string 43 into a integer. So if we check type of R3 type of var3 it will give output that it is a string now we want to convert it into the into a data type integer so we will precede it by a function int pass a pass it a parameter var3 we'll convert var3 string into integer and store it in variable var4 click on the cell and run the cell type conversion is done when we print the value of var4 it is 43 when we check the type of where for, we can see it is of the type integer. So click on the cell and run the cell. You can see 
the type of wherefore is integer. Now, again, we are seeing type conversion of op uh, operation for float. So we are asking the user to enter a number input, enter any number which will be stored in wherefore. So we ran this cell and in this case, we gave a floating point value 22.55. But when you run a input function, it takes the input as a string. So when we check the type of a var file, it is string. If we check the content of var file, you will get 22.55 displayed in single quotes. Now we want to type convert it into a float. So precede where for by float function. So float, we are passing it as an uh, argument, a parameter where five. Type conversion will happen. It will be converted into float and stored in where six. Click on the cell and run the cell. Value is stored in where six, which is float. If we print the value of where six, you can see it is 22.55 which is float and if we check the type of where six, it is a floating point number. Click on the cell and run the cell, you can see displayed as float. Next example is also of type conversion where we are converting a Boolean value into a string. So where seven stores a Boolean value false. Now you want to convert this false into a string. So in front uh, of a where seven, we write str. So str in, inside parenthesis where seven is passed as argument convert, it will convert false into a string and store it in where it variable. If you print the where it variable, then we get false on the user screen, which is a string. If we check the type of where it, right in front of it, opening and closing parenthesis, you can see uh, the output is string. Examples of built-in function. Again, we are seeing uh, another example. Here you have X, a list containing 0, 2, 4, 5, 6. If you want to find maximum from the list, then the built-in function max can be used. Max of S, X, so it gives output 6. If you want to find out the length of the string, you can use built-in built -in function length. So when you run length, of x, it will give output. Built-in function round. Round will round the given number to the nearest integer. So round 1.68 comma, it takes, if it takes two argument, then the second argument will be used to how, uh, to use to show how many decimal points, uh, how many numbers after the decimal points are to be displayed. So here we have one. So 1 1.68 and after decimal point, we have to display one number. So it will be rounded to the nearest value. So, so six is near to 10, therefore six was converted to seven. Therefore output is 1.7. Finds out the purpose of the second argument in the round function it will be used for printing that many numbers after the decimal point. Now, if you don't give the second argument to the round function, it will round to nearest possible value. So, but 0 0.68 is uh, nearer to, six, 0 0.68 is nearer to 10. Therefore, it will use the upper limit and convert it to two. Now, sorted function will sort the given iterable. Here x is a list, which is a sequence. It will be sorted in ascending order. But when you pass the second argument, a reverse is equal to true. This is called as keyword argument. Then it will sort the given list in descending order. Therefore, the output 65420.